Hello everyone, I'm Cloud and welcome to Anime Nomi. In today's video we'll talk about the futures of Straw Hats, the future that was revealed by the manga author himself and the releases of some volumes, and along with his visuals, Oda also revealed that Zaro will possibly lose his life and his adventures alongside of the Straw Hat Pirates. So I'm already counting on you to leave your like in the video to help the channel. I also hope you can subscribe if you're new here. Now let's go to the video. Guys, for those who don't know since volume 4 of the One Piece manga manga, author Ichiro Oda answers questions sent by his fans, where he always makes some jokes. But he also leaves a lot of useful information for the story and about the characters and usually the most important information he does in a mysterious way. These questions reveal the ages of the Straw Hat Pirates, as well as several facts about the story that are not immediately apparent. Sometimes, Oda accepts fans' suggestions and can make them official, like Toshiji, Chopper, and Robin's birthdays. Also around there it was revealed the existence of hidden characters like Panda Man and Tomato Gang, who are hidden in the manga and anime. As it is a moment where questions from fans are answered, Oda will always have questions of all kinds, from serious questions to silly questions. It also contains the Usopp Gallery, where it brings photos and drawings of the fans at the end of it all. Before talking about the main character of today's video, Zaro, we will mention other characters, which were mentioned by the author however. We will see how all the characters, the author Oda dealt with a lot of humor, but when it comes to Zaro, something was different. Oda made a terrifying revelation about the fate of the straw hat in one of HS sentences, so come on. On. Some Straw Hat characters like Frankie, Brooke and Jinbi have not been shown in their future, nor have their futures revealed so far, but soon this should happen. Let's start by talking about the captain of the Straw Hats, Captain Luffy. The author Oda was told that Garp's eyes were the same as Luffy's as a young man, large and round however, when he became an adult, they became narrow. Soon after, the manga fan asked if Luffy would also have eyes similar to Garp's, so Oda replied showing what Luffy would be like at 40 years and 60 years. Also, right below the images, he made Luffy look like his his future where his dream didn't come true, just below that he answers the question saying yes, in a future where things are going well, he looks very with Garp, but in a future where something goes wrong for some reason, Luffy's final appearance would be a little different. Now let's talk a little about the look of the almost captain of the crew, Usopp. Oda didn't say anything about him, he only showed him how he would look in two versions, one that he managed to fulfill his dream and the one that something went wrong. Both versions show him at 40 and 60 years old, in the first 40 years he is confident in saying that the pirate flag is calling to him, possessing a determined and confident look. 60 years old looks older, he shows a smile as he says he's missing her, and he may be referring to a possible character he's going to marry in the future, or from the adventures at sea. Meanwhile, we also see the version where his dreams didn't come true, so he returns to his old habits of lying, with the 40-year-old version saying that Luffy was his disciple and the 60-year-old saying that Zara was also his disciple. And now we're going to talk about Straw Hat's navigator, Nami. Oda didn't say anything about her either, just showed her how she would look in the future. In in the first 40-year-old drawing we can see that Nami remains very young, she shows a slight smile as she tells the person she is talking to come back when becomes an adult. At 60 years old we can see that she has short hair, while she was still looking young, she now said that she was over 40 years old a long time ago. In her future that her dream didn't come true, we can see that at age 40 we see her an extremely angry woman saying she wants her money back, and at age 60, we can notice a big change in her appearance while asking someone if you wanted to buy your magic pot. Now let's talk about the straw hat doctor. Chopper. Oda didn't say anything specifically about him, just fulfilled fans' request which was to draw the oldest Chopper. In the future when everything worked out, we might notice some differences in him look, appearing to be a little older. At 40 he seems to be still looking young, as he smiles he says leave it to me, at 60 we can really notice a change in character. We can see that he has a huge smile as he says that there is nothing he cannot cure, even the ignorance of some people. But in the future that his dreams didn't come true we can see him at 40 with a serious expression saying he didn't want to hear about the straw hat hats, which would indicate that possibly there must have been a fight between them, thus separating the crew, and with 60 years we can see that he is quite big, and with sharp teeth saying to bring the sacrifice, a little scary. Now let's talk about her, the amazing archaeologist of the Straw Hats crew, Nico Robin. In this drawing Oda also just carried out the request of one of the manga fans, he drew Robin. Meanwhile he didn't give any opinion or information about she. We see in the future where everything worked out, Robin with 40 and 60 years old, where she shows a super young look, similar to her current appearance, with only a few small changes, mainly in her hair. At 40, she says it's good to be young, while her 60-year-old version asks if everyone wants to investigate the world with her, showing that she still remains with her adventurous spirit. But in her future where something went wrong we can clearly see that she has a great aging in her appearance, in her 40-year-old version it said she threw all her books away, while the 60-year-old asks how much that boy is worth, showing that she has totally lost her desire for studies, to know the mysteries of the world. Now we're going to talk about the straw hat cook, Sanji. 
ING about him we also don't have any information related to what would happen in his future we can only see that in his future where everything worked out at 40 years old he has big hair and your goatee has grown a little we see him smiling as he says he wasn't picky showing that even after a long time he still stays with his personality and at 60 we see him in a cook's outfit as he says he's going fishing in all blue showing that he has finally accomplished your dream meanwhile in his future where something went wrong we see him totally different at 40 years old he has big hair that covers his eyes as he says that when the food reaches his stomach it's all the same showing he's lost that urge to be a cook in his 60s we see him looking similar to his father as he told him to throw poison into the sea becoming what in the present moment he would hate to become and now let's talk about the main subject of today's video the crew member who will possibly lose his life let's talk now about the straw hat swordsman zaro after a fan asks oda to draw the older zaro he says the following sentence that could change the direction of the entire series this is how he would be if he could reach that age we see that unlike all other pirates on luffy's crew with zaro oda introduced the character's future in a different way the author visibly showed that zaro shouldn't reach the ages he shows in the q a soon after he shows drawings of the older zaro in the future in which his dreams came true we can see a slight aging in his appearance but he remains with the same essence at 40 years old zaro says he is a swordsman who uses four swords showing that he has improved his fighting style and at 60 he says he now uses five swords showing that he has improved his style much more but unlike his future that went right we can see that what went wrong was completely different we can see that his appearance is completely different looking like another character in his 40s he says that using the sword in his mouth makes with which your coasts donate meanwhile aged 60 he says he will bow to the person if they give him money referring to the scene where zaro bows to my hawk in search of training in the version in which he does not fulfill his dreams we can see that he has lost all his will to fight and apparently no longer uses his swords however we saw how the author himself insinuated that he will not even reach that future unlike the other characters oda says that this would be his look if he reached those ages which may mean that in the future zaro could lose his life thanks to some extremely strong enemy or even sacrifice himself to save his captain or his friends maybe this is a tip from oda saying that this could happen because in his answers he has already given several tips and information about characters or events that would happen in the work but if zoro really were to lose his life in a future battle who would be the one to defeat him i'll quickly list some possible powerful characters that could turn out to be the one who will defeat zoro starting with kadu the strongest creature in the world we can see that in the brief fights they had even though zoro was improving his fighting style more and more kadu was still superior maybe kadu tries to take luffy's life at some moment of weakness and at that exact moment zoro tries to give his life for him or this is even linked to zoro's fate and past after all a new character was recently introduced in Yamato's past, a character who looks very similar to Zoro, moreover it was also said that their personality and fighting style was very similar. That's why many have come to believe that Zoro was born in Wana, and that this character is his father, since he was never introduced and apparently not even Zoro knows him. And this mysterious character was a great swordsman who possibly lost his life by sacrificing himself for Wana, so if this character really is his father, the author could be connecting fate too, but Oda would hardly take Zoro's life in the current saga, erasing this possibility. We also have the navy with fleet admiral Aka Inu, and the three admirals, being Kizaru, Fujitora, and Raya Kujiu, who are extremely strong characters and who may in the future cause problems for the straw hats. And finally we have Teach, who currently has two devil fruits, being one of the most feared characters in the work. He pursues the same dream as Luffy, to be the king of pirates, and at some point in his adventure, Luffy will inevitably face him. But Inu, what do you think of the future of straw hats with their versions? And this supposed tip from Oda Sam about Zoro's possible defeat? Leave your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to leave your likes in the video to help the channel, and also subscribe if you're still new here. The channel is new and needs your help. Thank you so much for watching our video so far. Your support is very important. See you in the next video. Bye.